Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and I just did a video on this yesterday late afternoon, and somebody's already questioned when I used the contour tool, it filled it all in with black, and if you haven't watched that, and the reason for this, this is a bad piece of clip art. It's got a lot of things in it, and you could try welding it, and so to weld it, I'm just going to show you the problem with it real quick. Go to Arrange and Ungroup. And then select it all and weld it. Look what happens. There's some something going on. So the contour tool won't work in that aspect. And it's backing up here, taking all those contour lats out. out. Now I've got the contour docker open, but there's nothing highlighted. It's all grayed out. So when that happens, you have to select it and group it. And the reason it turned all black. I turned it red today because you can actually see it better on the video. I'm going to contour it 0 0.01 and hit apply. It's got some interior parts. It doesn't contour the whole thing. So the reason I went to 0 0.05 is it would contour the whole thing. Now let's go and break contour apart. And then when you click on the red, you can, I need to set my nudge distance to two inches. When you click on the red and move it over, then you can left click, right click, and you have that outline of the item. Now let's back up here a little bit. Whoop. Let's back up here a little bit. And see how smooth the edges are right now? Here's a little trick. Right here, you can have rounded corners or square corners. Let's do with mitered corners. And you get a more jagged edge here. So look at that one versus this one with rounded corners. That edge is smooth. Now, with that said, we're a little bit off here. It's a little closer, but that's not a problem. Just go to range, break contour apart. Click on your red. Go left click, right click and you can move these nodes to make this a little bigger and you could actually put a little curve you could actually just take this out take that out and you'd have a smoother and then take your handles and make you a smoother I could actually take that one out and now you have a smoother object so if you didn't watch the first video um, that's why it had to I had to fill it all in with black we'll change our nut factor two inches and move it over and now you have a better contour and it's all because of this clip art a lot of times you can use a contour tool and it's going to work but in this case if it doesn't if it shows up some interior parts just um, let's do it one more time 0 0.01 and it's because it's got some really weird stuff going on like it did in contour down here even though that looks like a line there's actually some objects inside of objects there anyway hope that helped a little bit thank you for watching